Hi, welcome. We are coming back. We're going to do examples two and hopefully we'll get all the way to example five. So again, we're just going to go through our information. What were we given that's important? Well, this is important right here. This is important right here. The step size of uh, 0.2 is important and what we're searching for is important. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start by making my little table right here. I need to know uh, yeah, da, 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 da. my X, I'm going to go ahead and write my F prime right here like this. And eventually we're going to get a Y. So we're going to put all that information in. I made that really big. So I'm going to move it on over. How do I move it? I don't want to move. Okay, well, we'll just deal with it. That's fine. So we have all this information, and we know we're going to start with an N of zero, probably going to go to one, two, three, four. We have no idea. We know our initial X is one. We know that our initial Y is two. And how am I going to find F prime? I'm going to do, I'm going to plug in my, in my X and Y into my F prime equation right here. So one plus two, that first one is going to be three. Now, it tells me I have a step size of 0.2, so I can go ahead and fill out this column. 1 plus 0.2 is 1.2, then our next one is going to be 1.4, and finally we get to 1.6. And if I had written N of 4 down here, that's okay, but I would go ahead and cross out all the other information because we've already gotten to 1.6. That's all we have to know. So now we have to get all of our Y values right here, and we could take a moment uh, each time to calculate that F prime. So... Let's go ahead and calculate x, uh, sorry, we don't need any x's, we're already good there, y1. So y1 is going to be equal to the previous y, so 2, plus my slope, I already took a moment and calculated that, 3 times my change. And I honestly didn't take a moment to do all these little minutia calculations. So I'm going to pull up a calculator just to, for the sake of speed and time. And just because I'm too tired to do all this in my head right now, it's late at night. I'm tired. So that's simply going to be uh, 2 plus 0.6. So that's going to be 2.6. And I go ahead and transfer that 2.6 right here. So now I can take a moment and ask myself what this derivative right here would be. Well, I look at the equation and it's just telling me x plus y. So 1.2 plus 2.6 should give me 3.8. And then I start all over again. Do the exact same pattern over and over and over and over again. Okay, and so I'm going to go ahead and figure out my y Two, right? We're on the two row. Yeah, okay, y2. That's going to be equal to the previous y, 2.6, plus my slope that I found out, the previous slope, times my step size, times 0.2. So 3.8 times 0.2 plus 2.6. That, oops. That should give me 3.36. So I have that information. So I go ahead and... Plug that in. Now I'm going to take a moment to fill in that information in the middle. And my equation up here tells me I'm simply adding them. If that equation changes, I follow the equation. So that becomes 4.6. And finally, we're going to do our y3. That's the previous right here, 3.36 plus my slope, 4.76 times my uh, size, step size. So... And that should come down to, where's my pen, 4.312. And that's our end answer. If we were looking for uh, y of 1.6, we would say that's approximately 4.312. And remember, you want at least three digits, and we always like to truncate. So if this had said 0.3126, we truncate. It's still 0.312. They will accept 0.31. Three if you rounded it. But make sure you are going to at least the third decimal place and wait until the end to truncate or round. Okay. Example three, here we go. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to need an x. I'm going to need f prime of x, and I'm going to need a y. 
So let's go ahead and fill out the information we know. In our initial value, we know our initial X is zero. We know our initial Y is two. And if I plug that in, I'm gonna do all that up here, then I know that my F prime of my initial value would be uh, zero minus two times two plus two, so negative four plus two, so negative two. So then I'm gonna go ahead and take that moment to calculate my next ones. Okay, but before I can do that, I need to figure out how many ends I'm going to. Well, it says use Euler's method with two steps of equal size to get to 2.4. So I'm only going to two steps, one, two, that's it. And this has to be 2.4. So what would be the equal, uh, equidistance between that? That would be 1.2. So now I actually know that delta x equals 1.2. That's how we calculate when we're missing some information. We don't panic. We just go back to our original data and we see where we can find where it is. It's got to be in there. So now I find my y2. Sorry, y1. I already have x1. Come on. There we go. I find my y1. That's going to be equal to the previous. So 2 plus my slope, negative 2, times my change step. So 1.2. Uh, that's going to be equal to, I think, negative 0 0.4, right? That's negative 2.4 and then positive. Yeah, so this becomes negative 0 0.4. And then again, we take a moment and we're going to plug that into our derivative formula so we can pause and get that derivative and keep filling out that table. So that's going to become 1.2 minus 2 times negative 0 0.4 plus 2. That's going to be 4. How nice. How nice and simple. So that's going to be 4. So now we're getting real close. Now all we need is y of 2. And that's going to be my, my previous, negative 0 0.4, plus that slope times my change step. So my end answer should have been 4.4. And I don't need this information because I'm not moving on to the next row. So that means f of 2.4 would be approximately equal to 4.4. I have a few more examples. The main reason I wanted to put this example down is because I wanted you to see some of the other ways they can word it for an AP exam. So this one simply says, let y, equals, let y equal f of t be the function satisfying f prime of t is equal to yada, yada, yada. So what is this saying? Here's our solution. Here's the derivative, and here's your initial conditions. So let's go ahead and fill out my table. Sorry, this is a T, not an X. And this is our initial step starts at right here. This starts at 0 and 8. And we have a step size of 0.5. So that means if I go 0 plus 0.5, that's going to be 0 0.5. 0 0.5 plus 0.5, that's going to be 1. So I know I'm only going two steps because this is our row. Once we get here, we're done. So to find that initial F prime, so that means F prime of T at, evaluated at my initial condition, that's going to be uh, my initial T. So 0 times 2 minus F of 0. And y'all know f of 0 is 8, but look at that t out front. That t out front is going to cancel out this entire thing, and that should just be 0. 